I'm Angela Labac. I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator for the Community Health Program. Um, today we're going to go through hypoglycemia. Now that's a low blood sugar and a reading below four. Hypoglycemia um, can occur when you eat less than that than planned or you eat later than planned, maybe too much medication um, for your activity, uh, drinking alcohol within the last 24 hours. Some of the symptoms of low blood sugar can be sweating, trembling, palpitations, anxiety, hunger, nausea. Um, but each person will have their own um, way of recognizing their low blood sugars. There are three major steps in treating a low blood sugar. Now that's a blood sugar below four. The first step is if you do have your meter with you to confirm um, that you are low, so below four, and you want to eat a fast acting sugar. So that's just a plain sugar and that can be uh, 15 grams of those glucose tablets, a tablespoon of sugar, or a tablespoon of honey. Or if you have juice in, in the house, it could be two thirds cup of juice. So you would pick any of the following and have that. You would wait 15 minutes uh, to verify that your blood sugar has gone up below four. If it hasn't, then you repeat um, with another 15 grams of fast acting sugar. If you are above uh, your four and you don't have a meal plan within the, the next hour, um, you would wanna have a snack and that snack should have a source of a starch and a protein. We want to get that combination so that we prevent any more low blood sugars throughout the day. So for the starch component, it could be crackers, so seven crackers or a slice of bread. And for the protein can be a piece of cheese or uh, peanut butter, uh, whatever that you prefer. If your meal is within the next hour, then you can have your meal as planned. After having a low blood sugar, um, it, it's important to uh, address it with your doctor or your nurse practitioner and bring it up with your diabetes educators. If you do have any questions about low blood sugars or even high blood sugars, you can always address these with your diabetes educators.